we are cut off, right? So this is the second part, right? To your facing your fears. So on this video, you're gonna have facing your fears and what are you attracting for the month? Your spiritual message about love for the month of August is on the first video. So you received atonement, right? Atonement tells us that Virgo feels like any and everything that is going on around them, right? They must pay for. But here, atonement comes in as a for. So there is a decision that needs to be made, Virgo. Will you accept or will you reject this? Here, coming in as a feminine energy of wounding, right? Feminine energy represents wounding. Someone has no, no top, so they are exposed and uncovered, acceptable to receiving any type of, uh, let's see, uh, assault or stabbing, right? And then they tell us that this journey in which you walk or you go is in darkness, right? Unseen, unknown or not the correct pathway that you are supposed to be on. You can no longer walk in a way where if others hurt or you see others down to make them feel better or to make their lives better, you accept or absorb their pain or the conflict, their problems, because literally you have been burdened. You have been weighed down that you can no longer even move because you're chained yourself, chained in place. You see? Chained in place. Wanting to be free. And the energy surrounding this is the woman holding a coin, right? That represents the value of a balance in reverse. You see? In reverse. But together, they represent the one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey. Where have you lost your way, Virgo? Is it in your mind? Was it in your journey? Or is it, or has it been placed or planted within you? You can no longer walk around absorbing the weight of the world. Because the more you absorb, the more you go down, 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 literally into the ground. And they're telling us too many problems are piling up on your plate. It should not be okay for people to do this to Virgo, do that to Virgo, or do this to other people, do that to other people. And a way in which they take their energy of this pain, hurt, sadness, or depression and stick it to you, literally. So let's 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 see what your spiritual message is here, right? Because they say the woman holding the coin that usually comes in and brings forth a balance. There's no balance here. There's no value here. Whether it be that you are not acknowledging like the spiritual help that you could receive, or they're telling us some of you need to get some type of spiritual help because this is in the upright or in the regular tarot deck. This represents the high priestess. Well, maybe I don't have as many problems as other people and maybe no one to help me. Virgo, tighten up. See that? Atonement. I got to pay for everything, even if it isn't my fault. Your mind. So, spirit, what cannot be seen in the physical, but is there in the spiritual for Virgos, right? Virgos, thank you, too. You receive two over here for this atonement. Not listening. The prison waif is here representing self-sabotage and poverty of consciousness. Lack of thought. Keeping yourself stuck. Why? Because spirit is trying to talk and y'all not listening. Divine knowing and higher knowing or divine goddess and higher knowing. Look at the prison waif. Block, stop. And then the colors here are white, green, and brown. The purity and the clarity of movement forward, growth, abundance upon the brown. Acceptance or rejection of you allowing spirit in, right? 
helping you with your situation and then they're talking directly to you because together they represent the seven four and a three seven is a number of self-reflection why must you suffer the cost why must you suffer the consequence why why do you feel like no one can help you in your situation it starts with the mind if you feel like you need help you need to make up your mind and say you know what i gotta go talk to somebody i need some type of help because this ain't working i can't keep walking around here with the weight of the world on my shoulders everybody stabbing me in my back stabbing me in my heart my heart is being broke you know i got a back eight chest eight can't breathe short of breath can't speak it's too many i can't or i cannot you need to make up in your mind and say i cannot walk around here with everybody else's luggage everybody else's problems everybody else's pains no no you cannot be a problem solver of the world virgo because even if you was to take everybody's problems and absorb them there will still be one problem left you don't do that spirit why is the prison wave here towards this spirit whisperer the blocking of not listening goddess of water which represents the king of cups emotions have been ruffled right needing to feel love whether it be love of yourself or love of someone or something else goddess of water king of cups right strong emotions strong feeling tuning out I don't want to hear anything spirit has to say. I don't want to hear anything my ancestors have to say. I don't want to hear anything the divines have to say. I'm just going to go in this dark corner and cry until I cry myself to sleep. Spirit, clarify the goddess of water here, please. Four of cups, baby. The four of cups. Wanting to move forward receiving all the signs symbols omens warning signals the signals is on they turning off the road but can't move forward because you're too busy worrying about the problems the five with the four represents the nine the divine's calling for your attention to a person or a situation ready to go ready to move and then it's like two cup cards nine of cups i could be happy but i can't listen to spirit i can't hear spirit because i'm not tuned in i'm not following spiritual messages and spiritual guides when you can no longer depend on your physical being or your physical self you must always have a fallback and sometimes that fallback is not in a physical form whether it come in to self or other people you have no choice but to depend and be led in the spiritual spirit clarify atonement for these virgos virgo you receive two crossing over atonement and the woman holding the coin see that strength oh and it's an air one thought of action i need to find my strength thought of action strength to do what to do what be grounded to bring forth what changes oh whether it comes in the form of an opportunity like you know you in the middle of the desert or arizona or whatever um you know um sailing over the ocean and all of a sudden the door appears out of nowhere what you gonna do go around the door i don't know where that door came from it appeared from the sky take the opportunity no matter what form it comes in because it's going to lead you in a way of getting out of the situation no longer being burdened no longer around no longer walking around with other people's pain and problems on top of your own mm -mm. spirit clarify the scrim for us to change i'm so ready to see what you guys are attracting into y'all lives it's all for august we haven't even got the attraction card yet see that journey baby it's a process now let me tell you about this deck this deck that i'm using everybody must know this deck is 20 something years old this was my first deck since i was 12. 
this deck, if you're um, tuned in or your psychic ability or third eye's high, these cards actually move and tell a story. They move. Yeah. In this deck, the goddesses is the kings and the gods are the queens. It's flip-flop. But in this deck, there are three extra majors. And here's one. They're saying you must accept or reject, that is the four, the opportunity of a new journey. And how do you know when this opportunity is here? It lands on top of the cups. You're either going to have a feeling that it's going to be strong. Oh, that's what I need to do. That's where I need to go. Some of you need to be uh, baptized, purified, cleansed by the water. Or some of you guys need to find an alternate route to go to bring back the ju rejuvenation of life. I'm telling you, water. Yeah, water. Spirit clarified a journey. You gonna either you can either accept or reject it. Accept or reject it. And you are not um excluded from the um signs that have been getting hit with journey. When I say opportunities have been coming out for every sign, I mean that. And you are not excluded. And then they're telling us the journey. Where is it going to lead you? To nature. Or justice being served. Because the nature comes in as justice. And this person in this image is walking directly to justice. Let's go. No longer will I carry the burdens of others upon my back. I ain't got time for that. Or in my chest, in my stomach, in my head. I don't care. I don't want it. Spirit clarify the journey towards nature. Why is it here? Why is it here? Maybe it was a reason why um, the message got chopped up. And it ended the way it ended. Because I said, oh God, let me go back and look and see how it... Oh, it didn't end bad. See that? Worry. Mental depression. Why is the new opportunity of a journey being presented to Virgos? There's some type of worrying here. Nightmares is here. Someone fighting these demons or fighting the devil off. Someone is mentally depressed, mentally dysfunctional. Your head is not clear. And then in the background, if you look, that is a monkey. Have you ever heard uh, one monkey don't stop no show? Let's go. Keep it going. Get out your head. Spirit clarify the nine of swords. As long as I've been reading these cards, I ain't never seen that monkey back there until now. One monkey don't stop no show. That's what they say. That's an old saying, right? Look. Needing to travel towards the light. Hermit. Needing to find yourself. Need to find guidance. Need to find wisdom. Out of the nine of swords. Why? Because no monkey, one monkey don't stop no show. Whether it be a circus show or a zoo, I don't care. Getting out of the chaos, you must travel and follow the light. Follow what is the fire, the passion that burns, right? For yourself, the motivation to move forward, right? Fire either burns it up or heats up a situation. A lot of you are getting ready to go through because 9-9, nine, nine, baby, 9-9 nine, nine represents the divines. The divines calling for your attention to a person, the hermit who's traveling towards the light or a situation, a person who uh fights the devils, fights their demons, mentally down, not knowing and not seeing that one monkey, no monkey, don't stop no show. Because only because you go to the zoo, what you think they're going to close the zoo down because they don't have any monkeys? Good luck. Get out of your head. Let's go underneath the deck. Taking major action. See that? Night of style. To move quickly, forcefully, and aggressively towards recovery. See that? False walls is what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. What must you do? Take action. Someone who has major drive. Someone who has major motivation. Someone who is ready to take action. Someone who the divines, that the beetle is coming in here to bite, scratch, crawl, whisper in your ear and say, hey, move on. Don't linger too long. See? And then they say, 
you must receive that offer page of coin towards the balance see that towards the balancing of major changes see that tower towards who towards what a wounded warrior oh you see that nine of staff you see the wounded warrior you know who the wounded warrior is the same person who take all them swords in their back and take on the weight of the world them people you mm -hmm. and then they tell us with this being um a wounded warrior of action what is going on someone is ready to move upon a new journey ace of staff but they are waiting upon eight of staff in the background some type of communication this video serves as your communication honey take off you know how they do that take off what you waiting on who wants to stay stuck lingering and then it, and then they and then they tell us someone is waiting on the news someone is waiting on the news see that news about what stability three of staff ace of staff of the page of staff waiting for stability or some type of connecting factors of a relationship or some type of bond situation huh so until somebody come in and say something to you or speak to you about yeah we're working out everything's gonna be okay you just gonna stay stuck you just gonna stay on the ground you just gonna stay on the ground with the monkey in the background what they keep telling you until you make up your mind to recover <laughs> there's no action shaking and baking up in here mm -mm. and they keep saying mentally wounded look queen of swords about what about moving forward uh-huh taking action to move forward towards happiness what you got going on virgo what somebody got to do you know this is how i look at it if you are so nice and so kind to take the burdens of your family of your friends of your co-workers the monkeys at the zoo you want to set them free too why isn't anybody breaking their neck to come free you oh because the people in this world are selfish it's little and you know few that still do look out for you know one another but then the thing is how i go who raped for me in the hell with you so easily and so quick to give somebody else their problem transfer energy not hard to do but then when it comes time to shake that burden off it's so much harder ask these people who diet you could put that weight on so fast but how hard or how easy is it to take it off when you go and get you a vehicle out here off the lot or whatever they selling you go get you a Porsche. Oh well, let me be realistic. You go get you a uh Toyota. So nice and so clean. You feel good when you're riding in it, a Honda or whatever, Infinity or whatever, Mazda, whatever, Nissan, whatever. Put them miles on that engine. Sooner or later, you have to get an oil change keep putting the miles on that engine some old stuff gonna go wrong right move into a home sooner or later something gonna happen you're gonna need to do something with the pipes the wiring the roofing i don't care whatever paint a wall same thing but at the end of the day the pain or the cost in which it costs to repair and have these things and do these things you create on your own not someone else give them to you now you gonna let the monkeys out the zoo them people gonna take you to jail i'm telling you leave them little monkeys where they at because i don't need none swinging from no trees around me All right so let's see what you attracting to yourself this month yours were a little bit out of order but same message applied All right so let's go attraction baby i got some new attraction cards everybody been getting the business over here with these attraction cards Oh, friend, did I, did I make sure I ain't read y'all in one No, I ain't do it. Let's go. Spirit for the month of August. 
What is Virgo attracting to themselves and myself? What are we attracting in here? Thank you. Oh, wow. Coming in, right? It's like, ooh, ah, ah, man. Depending on your choice or your mindset or your decision. Coming in as the color purple. That's the power of empowerment, right? Upon the four. Number four. You're either going to accept this or you're either going to reject it, right? And then they're telling us a seed has been planted and, and, and it's getting ready to bloom. Or it's already blooming. But still yet here, you are feminine energy. Dang. Right? Well, Lee, I can't see the plant. I didn't see the seed. I don't know what kind of plant it is. That still doesn't mean that a seed wasn't planted, right? Some of y'all walk around out here pregnant and don't know you're pregnant now. You did what you had to do to get pregnant, but now you walk around out here with a seed planted and don't even know it. But that don't mean because you didn't see it, it ain't real. You will see it in a few months. Let's go. It says achieving success is my birthright. What? What? Yeah. You can either accept or reject it. It says you are meant to succeed and fail. And failure, excuse me, should feel bad to you. Ooh. I don't want it. Life is supposed to go well for you. And when it does not, there is something what? Wrong. But Leah, I didn't plant it. I didn't plant the seed. I didn't know I was walking around here with a seed planted. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? Even though it may feel wrong now, you never know what that seed going to uh, bring in forth of abundance or success. Yeah, joy. Mm -hmm. So don't say Leah said, because Leah just told you what Leah said. So it says, but what is wrong, right, is not something that is outside of you over which you have no control. Mm. What is wrong is within, what, what is wrong is within you. Did you get it? Did you catch it? Well, hopefully you didn't catch, listen. You do, <laughs> you do have control and you have control. So they're saying if it's a situation you can't control, you really like just you can't control it. But if you had control of it and you didn't want that seed planted, you're out here unprotected, you know, but that's not what it's talking about. It's talking to everybody, right? So it says. And taking control is not difficult to do once you understand the basis of who you are. Oh, we still talking about birthrights, right? Birthrights. Maybe not your birthright, but your seed's birthright. You just never know. Generation, baby. The basis of the law of attraction and the value of your personal emotional guided system, EGS. Leah, what is that? Look it up. Some of you need to make a choice. For those who out there don't know that they pregnant, raise these seeds, man, I'm telling you. Let's see. Let's get to it. Spirit, what is the insight of, a, of achieving success? Is my birthright. Don't want to be seen. You see it right there? Don't want to be seen. Oh, snap a message. A heavenly divine message because the message comes in as a card of nine, baby. Spirit clarified a message. Yeah, some type of contract, some type of agreement or a promise. Some of you are going to get the news. Some of you are going to get the message. You're going to see this video. You're going to know what? Leah, right? Yeah. Because Leah don't come on here by herself. Some of you are going to make agreements, and these agreements not necessarily um verbal, but they're spiritual. If I am pregnant, I'm gonna have my child. I'm gonna take care of it. Blah 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 blah. And it's just like being married before the God or the All Source. You make an agreement, you make that bond, right? You make that link. You are tethered in. There's no going back. And then some of you. Have to make a decision. What are you going to do? Coming in as another four. 
and letting go. And then they're telling us, changes are at hand. See that? Changes are at hand. So you do what you feel is best, right? Just know, don't, you know, you go out here and destroy your bloodline or destroy some type of bond here. There's a cost to be paid. But at the end of the day, there's water in each of these images, right? Water. Water is here and water is here. Water does not only talk about emotions, but water talks about the purifying, cleansing factor of washing up all the negativity, all the hurt, all the sadness, all the pain. Yeah. And that rejuvenation or that bounce back to life, baby. Time to bounce back, man. I'm time to bounce back. Coming in with this message, flying over this agreement. They're coming in here giving you your confirmation. We heard you. We heard you. We see you. We feel you. We coming, right? Because a black bird, not it's not anything of negativity, but it is, um, they say an unseen agreement. So whether you are a person who, you know, hides in the darkness or hides in the closet, hides behind closed doors, somebody has been hoping, wishing, praying here, and they say, we got you, we got you. They got you. They heard you, right? Yeah. So let's go. Spirit for Virgos, either accepting or rejecting the achieving their success of their natural birthright. Why is it here? See that? towards letting go it's a burden look y'all better get with me i'm telling you it's a burden to let go what are you fighting mentally i hear and then here air element one thought of action it's a burden Leah. it's a burden i don't know what to do someone is keeping a secret spirit clarify the message because they feel that hurt, sadness, and pain that is going to cause someone, like family, boyfriend, girlfriend, mm -hmm, mother, father, grandparents, yeah, job. Oh, I gotta go on maternity leave. Mm -hmm. I got a good paying job. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, clarifying your message, bringing forth the balance of a choice. See, agreements, baby. Silent agreements, peace treaties, yeah, and then clarifying the burden, the seek of water, the page of water, the offering of uh, abundance, uh huh, being very emotional because somebody is burdened, receiving an abundant offer. What is this abundant offer of plenty that you are getting ready to receive if you don't let go? See that. Spirit clarified his choice for Virgo. It just got deep. It just got real. It's not always about a baby because this also could talk about woo, the grounding of loneliness. Some of you are not, not going to be alone anymore. <laughs> That's changes coming in. But um, this could also be talking about something being birthed inside of you right this could be an idea right the birthing of the mental right some type of gut feeling some type of spark and some of you will choose to cut it off i don't feel like dealing with it i don't know where it come from that's the devil talking to me and it don't even be the devil you know what i'm saying the devil gonna tell you to do bad things right so clarifying this choice they say rebirth see that bounce back to life baby towards who the seer that's you because you're looking right no longer merging. Ooh. Merging in reverse. No longer merging. Woo is the will of fortune. See that? The will of fortune. Right? You know why? Because you went full rotation, baby. Spinning. Spinning. And a lot of you are in the process. They say no victory. It ain't time for you to come off that wheel yet. Hold on, it's going to be a bumpy ride underneath the deck. 
at the end of it all, at the end of it all, it's okay. Cause you know why? You're gonna receive your passage. You're gonna fly off that wheel. Your time is coming. That's why I keep telling everybody a major shift is here. But you gotta have your mind right because it says fire element swore the drive. Fire either heats up a situation or burns it down in your mental sword. See that passage, the balance of passage. See that six towards what? Thought of action towards a partnership, situationship, friendship, business partnership, investment ship, car loan ship, home ownership, student loan ship. That's the creation. That means you're in the process. Uh-huh. And justice is coming in and being served nature. Yeah. Towards the world. A successful completion. Don't play with me. Get with me. Okay. Balance. Another six. Come in. Balance. Leave out. Balance. Virgo, what more could you want? What more could you want? Right? That's why they say that loneliness that you're feeling. There's going to be no more of that. Why? Because the same little partnership, situationship, car loan ship, home mortgage ship, uh, student loan ship, investment ship. It's going to come in here and rock your world, baby. Ain't no loneliness. Bye. Some of you might be pregnant. I'm telling you. Some of you are getting ready to get in these relationships. But they keep telling you. Not until you're ready. Or not until we say you're ready, you're going to stay in the process. You're going to stay in the mix. See that? The wheel, right? You're going to stay in the mix. Oh, Justin's good to go. Pew, you're going to fly off. You're going to keep going. Diane's good to go. Pew, you're going to fly off. You see? Avery's good to go. Pew, Adrian's good to go. Pew, Tika or Tia is ready. Good to go. Pew, Kiki, Kiana, right? Katrina, good to go. Heather, good to go. You're going to start flying off. That's why they say passage. But I'm going to tell you something. What came to my mind just now. I just did, I think, Scorpios, Fears, Blocks, Holes. I mean, you might want to go watch the Scorpios. Because I think the Scorpios, it was about a lot of Scorpios getting ready to come off the wheel. And it was about them picking their direction. Same applies here. You're getting ready to fly off the wheel, a lot of you. And before you land, before you land, where are you going to land? The good side of this, because see, this is the seven, right? Passage towards the wheel. The wheel creates the passage, the way, right? The good thing about it is you get to choose a direction. You are not just giving it. You're just not going to fly off. Well, you're going to fly off, but you don't know where you're going to land. But see, if you choose your direction, you have a little bit more room, wiggle room, lead way guidance. Hmm, I think I want to go more to the right this time, Leah. They, they kicked me off to the left last time. But now Leah telling you, hey, choose your direction, baby. Scorpio came up. Choose your direction. Because see, this is the thing. The bad or the downside about it. If you just stay on the wheel until they kick you off or you fly off or whatever. And you don't choose a direction a lot of you are gonna have to do damage control because when you fall off that wheel and you tumble anything can get broken leg arm relationship head toe finger partnerships and a lot of people are gonna experience a loss and it's gonna put them back in a situation where they're gonna have to go through that recovery See that? You're going to have to get back to the recovery process of standing strong again. Some may not. They may actually fall down and stay down. But they keep telling Virgo, achieving success is your, is, is my natural. That is my natural birthright. That's what it say. This main color of this card is that purple. Power of the empowerment to make the choice to accept or reject it. Waiting on these messages, they finna start coming through. And I'm just here to tell you, hey, pick this direction, right? If you've been like in your down season or your down moments now, hey, when I come off this wheel, I want to go up this time. I don't want to go back down there. I don't want you to pick me up for a day and drop me back down. I want to stay up. You have to open your mouth. Not hard to do. 
Anybody who needs to talk to me, I'm Leah. This is Enlightened Mystic Essentials. You can reach me at EnlightenedMysticEssentials at gmail.com, which will be down below. Anybody who needs to um schedule or order a personal reading, uh, you can find that at my um website, EnlightenedMysticEssentials.org. No, it's not. EnlightenedMystic.org. Listen, Virgo, Love Readings is at my website this, this month. And I'm getting ready to post another reading there. I don't know where Spirit's going to have me go, but just keep up with my website, enlightenmystic.org, because I'm, I'm posting videos there that I will not post on Facebook, right? So listen, everybody's going to be fine. Like Virgo, you will like the vibe that I didn't get all nervous. I didn't say warning, warning, like Aries, whoo! Warning, warning, warning. But listen, anybody who needs to talk to me, you can talk, email me. I talk back. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment. No problem. So until I see you guys again, look look out for the community post so you can vote on the reading you would like to see because this month, uh, Fear Block Hole Regrets 1, mm -hmm, Facing Your Fears. So until I see you guys next time, work it out, figure it out, and choose your direction.